Welcome to Tween and Teen Cooking with Miss Ann. Today we are making a grill, grilled peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So you will need two slices of sandwich bread, two tablespoons of peanut butter, and one tablespoon of jelly. You'll need a, one tablespoon of unsalted butter softened, a skillet, stovetop burner, a spatula, and a butter knife. Okay, so we're, I'm using a medium-sized skillet. That's what I'll be grilling my um, grilled peanut butter and jelly in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a half a tablespoon of butter and spread it on my bread. I forgot to bring a butter knife with me. Just like that. I'm going to go ahead and lay it in the pan. I'm going to take the other half tablespoon of butter and spread it on the other slice of bread. Okay, it's jelly time. One tablespoon of jelly and make sure you that you don't have your burner on because I don't want you to get burnt go ahead and spread the jelly on that slice of bread so now we're ready for peanut butter and this is two tablespoons of peanut butter. This is going to be messy. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add one tablespoon of butter, of peanut butter to this slice of bread that's already in there. We need one more tablespoon. I think I may add just a little bit more peanut butter, just for my liking. Maybe a quarter of a tablespoon, just a little bit. I'll go ahead and spread that around. Okay. You're going to go ahead and top it with the second piece of bread and push down on it a little bit. And churn your burner on medium. We're going to give it two or three minutes and then we'll flip it. It's been about eight minutes and I had to turn my burner up a little bit. Let's go ahead and flip it. Be real careful so you don't burn yourself. And that's what it looks like. You want it golden brown. So this time it'll probably take three to five minutes to brown the opposite side that we just flipped and it took a little bit longer because my pan was completely cold okay let's go ahead and flip this and see what the opposite side Ooh, that looks good look at that nice and golden brown so we're going to turn our burner off and we're going to take this out of the pan and put it on a cutting board or put it on your um, plate and we're going to let it cool for a few minutes. It's 
So I cut it in half and then I decided to cut one half in half again. So you can see how gooey it is. Look at that. It looks delicious. And I am going to try a piece of it. Looks really good. Wow, this puts a different spin on peanut butter and jelly. When I was frying it, it smelled like a jelly donut. But it tastes like a peanut butter and jelly grilled sandwich. It's actually delicious. I give it a thumbs up. This is a good recipe to try. And thank you so much for watching for watching this episode of Tween and the Teen Cooking. Until next time. Bye-bye.